Yellow, Ralph McIntyre with Astro Mount Lynx. Well, you guessed it. I'm here to do another video in my video series, Transiting Saturn in Pisces, Aspecting the Planets in the Zodiac. In this video series, I talk about the evolutionary intent of transiting Saturn in Pisces as it aspects the planets in your birth chart. And we're up to Uranus. We're going to talk a little Saturn in Pisces aspecting Uranus. So we're talking the conjunction, which is Uranus in Pisces, this opposition Uranus in Virgo, the two squares of Uranus in Gemini, and Sagittarius. All right, for all you new people, please click like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It so helps me promote my channel. Also, in the description below, you're going to see a link to a webinar that I'm doing. Limited this webinar to 10 people. So there'll be plenty of time for me to dive deep into each individual's chart. It's an easy way to get a cheap reading with me. All right, without any further ado, let's talk us about some... Saturn in Pisces aspecting Uranus. All right, you find yourself as a soul incarnated into a body with the planet Saturn transiting in Pisces aspecting your Uranus. How divinely inspired are you? So, I would highly recommend you listening to the other videos in this video series. I have a bunch of videos about Saturn in Pisces in the different houses. So you're going to want to look at where Neptune is, what you have in the 12th house. You're also going to want to look to where the ruler of that Uranus is. So if it's in Pisces, you're looking to Neptune. If it's in Virgo, you're looking to Mercury. If it's in Gemini, you're looking to Mercury. And if it's in Sagittarius, you're looking at Jupiter. All these things are going to help you understand how this transit works for you uniquely. All right, so Uranus. Uranus is fundamentally radical self-expression, free of all societies nonsense so to speak wanting you to kind of so to speak let that divine voice come through you and when i say self-expression and i use the voice i don't mean literally it has to be your voice there is so many different ways to self-express you know, you might stir your soup in a unique way. You might paint something. You might do all sorts of things. You know, depending on what you do for a living, you might have a certain way in which you want to kind of change things up a little bit or the way you think about it, the way you communicate. It has so many different things. And Uranus is kind of a mental thing. You know, it can be very mental planet. So, you know, are you letting yourself think about things that are free from society? And so that Saturn in Pisces wants to kind of build some walls for you, protect you, so to speak, so you can speak your mind, so to speak, and be free of all the psychic attacks. But also Uranus, and I find this to be Oh, so much the case with most people. A lot of times when you have a big Uranus or your Uranus is getting lit up, you're dealing with the karmic wounds around speaking your truth. And we get our ego gets addicted to kind of sharing it with the wrong people. And this has taken me a while to learn because the minute you share something with the wrong people, person or the wrong group of people, you know, whether or not it happens in the physical world, something bad happens or, you know, history is kind of littered with things in the physical world happening bad. But there's that psychic world. There's that piece of the Piscean world, you know, that kind of are, are you being psychically attacked for what came out of your mouth? And this is where so many people get Uranus wrong, in my opinion, because they wear it as this badge of honor. I don't fit in. People don't get me. I shock people. It's my job to shock the world into new realities. And not to say that there's not some truth there, but my friend Saturn is wanting to put some tension on that on you, wanting to kind of say, hey, why are you so to speak, putting yourself in front of the Piscean firing range. Why are you getting all these psychic darts thrown at you? Do you think that really helps you? Do you think that helps you get connected in? 
Because on some levels, Uranus doesn't want to shock everyone. It doesn't really want to shock anyone. It just wants to speak its mind, speak its truth, bring in something new. And if you share that with the wrong people, it's shocking. If you share it with the right people, it's profound. You know, what's the difference between shocking and profound? Really, it's the audience. If the audience is ready for it, it's profound. And if the audience isn't ready for it, it is shocking. And so on some levels, it's Saturn and Pisces wanting to light up that Uranus, wanting to light you up in your habitual way of in kind of manifesting that Uranus and Uranian energy in your life. Are you kind of constantly putting yourself in the psychic firing range? Because if you are, that Saturn is going to light that up. It's going to make it ever so evident for you to, so you can't miss it. So if you have Uranus in Pisces, you know, that, that's that really pure divine expression of Uranus, you know, and so it's like, where are you, where are you being different in the Piscean world? Where are you kind of watching how the Piscean world affects you and your friends and everyone you know? That Saturn wants to kind of help you have some good boundaries there. You know, are you sitting down and doing spiritual practice or whatever that looks like? Anytime we're talking Uranus, it's like, I, don't, I, I kind of don't want to say too much. It's like, I don't want to tell you what to do. I want to suggest some things that may feel right to you. But if it doesn't feel right to you, don't take it on. And then if your Uranus is in Virgo, like mine is, the opposition, you know, Virgo is about discernment. It's about knowing when is right as well as what is right, you know, and that Saturn and Pisces kind of wants you to tune into when you speak out of turn, so to speak, when you're speaking to people who can't get it, so to speak, when you're kind of on that high righteous horse of Virgo, like I know what's right, all you guys need to listen to me. And then you find yourself in that psychic firing range and why wondering why you can't sleep or why you're always agitated or why you're kind of having all these symptoms of psychic attack and then uranus in gemini you know uranus in gemini wants you to be open to new possibilities gemini has got this curiosity and it's also the interesting thing about uranus in gemini it's like are you looking at different ways of communicating are you stuck in one way? Are you stuck in this old school way of how things work or how you used to communicate? Are you saying it in a way that doesn't work for you anymore? That Saturn and Pisces squaring it is kind of light that up, you know? Because if there's an issue, if there's a problem, Gemini is your friend. Gemini is the creativity to find the solution. I often joke and am very serious with this joke, but if you have a problem, you're not being Gemini. Because to have a problem without a solution, you're not being Gemini. Because Gemini will find the solution, that curiosity. So are you letting yourself be curious enough to find a solution that actually works for you, that's calming on the Piscean realm? Because that's really what the Saturn wants. It, it wants to kind of build a structure to where that Piscean realm is your friend and not your enemy. And then Uranus and Sagittarius, the, kind of that philosopher bringing in the new things. Well, one aspect with Sagittarius is you really need to let go of all the things that you were told to believe. And this and Uranus kind of go hand in glove, so to speak, because Uranus really wants you to let go of all the things you were told to believe. Sagittarius wants you to let go of all the things you were told to believe. And that Saturn in Pisces is like, hey, let me be your friend. But, you know, when I say let go of all the things you were told to believe, there's a little truth to that. But what I really like to say, especially with Sagittarius, is take everything you believe that's in your head that you believe, throw it up in the air, and then as it floats back down, decide whether or not it's good for you now. Don't just throw everything out. You know, it's like don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. And where are you kind of being difficult at bringing in the psychic attack? You know, because on some level, Saturn and Pisces is like really wanting you to be a good steward in the psychic world, in the Piscean world, have good boundaries. And there's the psychic boundaries I've talked about in this in most of my videos. 
on my YouTube channel, you'll find a bunch of playlists. And one of the playlists is a meditation playlist. And in that meditation playlist, there is a bunch of psychic protection videos that I highly recommend. Meditation, however that looks, is also a good thing. Quiet the mind, you know, so you can truly connect into the divine and bring in what's good for you. Because remember, this is your life. This is your chart. It's not, don't throw the messenger under the bus. You know, take care of yourself so you can speak that divine wisdom through that Uranus aspect in that Saturn in Pisces. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a spectacular day.